Make yourself at home. Just follow the road north. When you get to Hunting Brew Meadery, turn left and the road will take you to the city gates. It's not far. We used to go to the market there every month or so until the roads got so dangerous with the war and all. I just hope the war doesn't come to Riverwood. There's enough trouble in the world without those storm cloaks stirring up more. Until next time. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Aye.
handle yourself well, you could make for a decent shield, brother. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Thinking I need to train some more. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to your Vasker, if you're worth anything in a fight. The roads of Skyrim lead to many dangers. Take a look. question, for we are far from home, and this is a cold, hard land. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. Skyrim is a ripe opportunity indeed. The dragons and the war have scared many other traders away, but for those with courage, there is much profit to be made. The Karid hail from a distant land called Elsewhere, bordered on the north by Cyrodiil, and the south by the glistening blue waters of the sea. Elsewhere is an arid land of deserts and rocky canyons, where the sun shines warmly, always. There are cities so ancient, the sands have swallowed them whole. But now I will say no more, for I miss my home greatly. May your road lead you to warm sands. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. 
Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Aye, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Proventus Avenici? He's the Jarl's steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Thanks. Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Jorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Don't forget to check inside the shop you need anything. That's a decent weapon you made there. Have you met my father? Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Mm-hmm. I help my f This looks good. You put time into your blades, they'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. All right, then. You think all the... Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps fitting. That kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. I'll take my leave then. Need something? I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. All right then. I don't cl You have talent. Keep working at your craft and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you will remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Have you met my... Looking to protect yourself, or deal some damage? Until next time. Yes? The finest weapons and armor. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. There's more inside. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchants. Well met, kinsman. What brings you to Whiterun? Truly? Ha. Huh. By sure, this city could use more like you. Best head up to Dragon's Reach then, and see the Jarl. He's Lord of Whiterun, and can set you on the path.
Aye, that I do. Half all my life, we Battleborns have been here since the beginning, along with the Grey Mains. Our family's been close as kin for generations, but Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising has divided us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Petty and foolish, that. They are saying dragons have returned to Skyrim. Now that there, that's a real problem. May your sword... Well, Metkins ain't sure if they're taking on new members. But you should talk to the companions. They're over in their hall. You're a basker. If by work, you mean testing your steel in bloody battle. Ah, <laughs> the most important question of all, that one. You'll want the bannered mare. See old Hulda, she'll keep you swimming in mead. But mind the bard, Mikael. Ponzi little milk drinker, that one. Ah, man gives bards a bad name. We Nords have a long history as warrior poets. I am proud to count myself among them. But Mikael, he sings only for gold and the affections of wenches. He dishonors our traditions. Keep a song in your heart and a blade in your boot. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Security in White Run is terrible. Shameful is what it is. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and Let me know if there's anything else you need. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. The Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. Oh, did you need something? Security in sure White Run is done. terrible. Nothing. And what of my son? Hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. Your son chose his side, and he chose poorly, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. I never accept his death. My son still lives. I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battleborns, where is he? Where are you holding my forehold? Best you remember that. The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. Fresh baked loaves, still warm from the oven. Watch what you're doing. Grey Mane or Battleborn? Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Grey Mane or Battleborn? New in town, huh? White Run's got two clans, both old and both respected. Difference is, the Grey Manes turned their backs on the Empire, and we Battleborn stayed loyal. So I'll ask again. Grey Mane or Battleborn. Sooner or later, we all have to choose a side. Come on, Father. There's nothing more to be said here. Damn those Grey Manes to oblivion. 
More bad blood between the houses. Fralya is convinced our family is somehow at fault for the loss of their son. There's no reasoning with these people anymore. The Stormcloaks are living on borrowed time, believe me. Brigands I can handle. <laughs> Looking to do some hunting, eh? Avoid British in pass. It's out What would you have me do then? Nothing? My lord, please. What's this the no meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgraf is not receiving me. visitors. I just... Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? By Ismir, Irileth was right! What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that Your dragon is lurking in the mountains... That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... Enough! I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people! Irileth. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Jarl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. An old tomb, built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources.
If I said that was a tedious question, would you be smart enough to know what I meant? Probably not. As long as I'm left alone to pursue my research, I don't care who gives the orders. Now, I'm a busy man, and your pointless questions are boring me terribly. Good day. This is a priority now. Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Valgroof. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. you to do your duty. Of course. We'll keep Riverwood safe. You can count on it. Let's move out. Time's a waste.
Or In a world of fools, you stand out above the rest. Here, take this small sign of my friendship. Did you hear me? Yep, ale's going bad. You're that visitor been poking around. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'm the... Word is, Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War is only going to get worse now. Give me a mug of ale. Coming right up. God's watch the finest weapons and armor. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do? Huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel f trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Three branches, paint white, and then tie them to stone. Instant frostbite spider. Rodnar, nobody's gonna believe that your dog is a frostbite spider. 
Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing. What are you scared? Trolls and who knows what else. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further up. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop.
easily blocked.
did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Sweet breath of Arcade, thank you. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Ah! Never should have come here. <laughs> <laughs> 